This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. Just out here babysitting the chicken, letting him on the ground a little bit, and playing catch with the dog. But I got a minute for you, and you're here for a story. Okay. When old Ronald Reagan, he was president, there was a woman down in Florida contacted the radio station and told her her problem. See, she had uh, immigrated over here and become a citizen of the United States from France. Her mother stayed over there, but in her older years, she really needed, you know, help. And so the daughter brought her mother over here to the United States to take care of her in her last days on earth. She got the card and everything legal to get here and stay here for a while. But then immigration said, no, you've been here too long. You got to go back. You got to go back. Your time's up. She appealed and it did no good. They said, nope, no options. You got to go back. And so what she did, she told that her mother in World War II, she had been one of those young people who hid American flyers that were shot down in France before it was invaded by us and they would be shot down, she would hide them in her home. Numerous flyers she hid in her home till the underground could get them out and get them back to England. She did that and under penalty of death if the Nazis had caught her, she risked her life for those flymen, absolutely. Ronald Reagan heard about it and he just made one call and he said make it happen. They said no you, you don't understand. He said you don't understand. Make it happen. She stays. And that's all there was to it when the commander and chief spoke. Fast forward to this week, weekend, Humane Society had a, a doings, a yearly doings to make some money for them. And I always go and give free snow cones, if at all possible, and for the kids just to, to help draw the crowd. And so while I was there, an old man came up and I said, I bet you haven't had a free snow cone in a long time. And he said, I haven't had one period in a long time. And he said, I'll take one. So I made him, he wanted a grape snow cone, made it for him and visited with him a little bit. And he said it had been a, a sad week. His brother had died. His brother had died. And he said the grandson, he was over there in the military in Okinawa. And the, the commander over there wouldn't let him out to come back to the funeral of his grandfather, which they were very, very close. And so that was all there was to it. But his sister of that man, he said she out of a fluke, just simply sent an email to the White House and said, is there anything you can do? Well, it got to the right people. Within a couple hours, she got a phone call. And they asked for all the specifics and to check out everything to make sure it was what it was. And it was proved that it was true. And so a couple more hours later, they called back. And they said, your grandson is on his way and he'll be there for the funeral. And he said, you got to give a lot of credit to Mr. Trump. You got to give a lot of credit to him. Just like they did Ronald Reagan, there are some good people in power. And they're more than willing to say, no, there's, there's a better way. And it isn't always just the government way. There's a better way to do things and to use a little common sense. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. You have a good day. Me and the chicken and the dog sure will. Thanks for watching.